In this video, we'll take a look at creating polygons and ellipses. We'll start off with a polygon tool located in our 2D sketch tab here on the draw panel. With the polygon, you can specify inscribed or circumscribed size for your placement of this polygon and how many sides you want through this little dialog box. Now, if this is the first piece of sketch geometry you're placing, you really don't care about inscribed or circumscribed because you can put a dimension on that afterwards to help define it. If you already had a circle or something you want to put the polygon inside of, then you would really care about inscribed or circumscribed. Let's start off here with six and we'll do the inscribe type. I'll pick a center point for the polygon. And then basically you can see your cursor is tied to a vertice of the polygon. Now this does not lock in the rotation on it. It just helps you with sizing. There you can see that. If I do a circumscribed polygon of six sides, now you can see it's attached to the midpoint of one of the edges. Now when these are created, they will maintain the same size all the way around. I still have the lock in rotation. I still have the lock in dimensional control with dimensions, but it does give me the six sides that I want equally created as far as magnitude goes. So we'll quickly do that with a circle as well. So I'll go ahead and drop a circle in and I'll do a polygon. And this is one of my favorite ways to create a square actually. I'll do a polygon of four sides, pick my center point, and I can pick any point inside of here and now stay inscribed inside the circle. If I do circumscribed, this will go outside the circle from my connection point. You can also use polygon to make other small simple shapes such as triangles. So that's our look at polygon. Let's next take a look at an ellipse. So let me delete this geometry here with my delete key. When I start the ellipse, I'll pick my ellipse center. Select my first axis point, which can either be the major or the minor, depending on how you'd like to create this. You can go short or you can go long. I'll go long this way. Then my second point of the ellipse for the sizing. Very simple. Let's create it long this way, and then short this way. So that's our look at polygon as well as ellipse.